Good evening, Bahamas. Torino Saunders here. This is your JCN Evening Sports. The track and field facility at the North Andrews High School set to receive a much needed upgrade. The Pan American Sports Organization, also known as PASO, has agreed to construct a state-of-the-art facility at the school to assist further development of the sport of track and field throughout the Bahamas. The track, named after North Andrews native and Olympic relay bronze medalist Carl Oliver, will be constructed by world-renowned Mundo Surfaces. This should bode well for North Andrews as we should see some more star track and field athletes coming from that island over the next five to ten years joining the likes of Carl Oliver and triple jumper Tamara Myers. The Bahamas Lawn Tennis Association congratulating one of its own top junior tennis athletes, Africa Smith, who pulled off an amazing performance and emerged as a finalist at the recent ITF Junior Tournament in Curacao. Africa entered the tournament ranked number six overall and advanced to the finals by defeating three top players from the United States before she fell in the finals to the number one seeded player Jennifer Keita 6-2 and 6-1. Africa has represented the Bahamas on several national teams. The Federation also commending Sierra Donaldson who advanced to the quarterfinals at that very same tournament. After her rookie season with the WNBA, John Quell Jones went to Korea and had a successful season in the South Korean Women's Basketball League. Well, this offseason, John Quell will take her game to China to play for the Shangzi Flame in the Women's Chinese Basketball Association, or WCBA. Quite a number of the WNBA's top players, they often go to the Chinese League during the offseason as they can oftentimes earn more money than they do playing in the WNBA. John Quell took her team in the South Korean League to the championship and earned MVP honors with a huge cash bonus. She is looking to have that same type of impact in the Chinese Women's League. Update from the local fast pitch softball league, the National Softball Championship. They're set for next weekend here in the capital with championships or with championship teams from around the country competing for the win uh, for the men and women's loftiest softball titles that we have here in the country. In the New Providence Softball Association, they resume play on Monday and results were the same as they were on Sunday with the defending women's champion Lady Truckers defeating the Sunshine Auto Wildcats 17-9 in game two to take a 2-0 lead in the series. On the men's side, the CNS Hitmen defeated the BTC Elite Warriors 11-4 in game two to take a 2-0 lead in that series. Both series continues tonight, Tuesday night if weather permits, uh, with game three back at the Bankers Field. They'll start at 7 o'clock with that ladies opener. Again, Abaco, Eleuthera, Andros, and Grand Bahama also playing championship softball. NFL free agent quarterback Colin Kaepernick has filed a grievance against NFL owners for collusion. The filing says that the NFL and its owners have colluded to deprive Kaepernick of employment rights in relation for his leadership and advocacy for equality and social justice and for his bringing awareness to peculiar institutions still undermining racial inequality in the United States. To protect all athletes from such collusive conduct is what compelled Kaepernick to file his grievance. This Despite being a talented quarterback and with teams obviously in search of a quarterback, Kaepernick remains unsigned by any NFL team. And finally, the NBA's 2017 season begins tonight with two extremely hot matchups provided all of the stars show up to play in the opening game at 8 p.m. on TNT. It's the beginning of the new rivalry between the Boston Celtics and now led by Kyrie Irving, Gordon Hayward, and Al Hofford. They're set to face the Cleveland Cavaliers led by none other than LeBron James, Derrick Rose, and his buddy Dwayne Wade. Basketball fans are anxious to see how LeBron and Kyrie react to each other in their first meeting since Kyrie demanded a trade. However, there is talk that LeBron may miss the game with a suspected sprained ankle. In the second half of the doubleheader, the Houston Rockets will get a chance to see if their high-octane offense can match up with the Golden State Warriors. It's James Harden, Chris Paul, Eric Gordon Jr., and the Rockets to face Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and the Warriors at 10.30 on TNT. That'll do it for your JCN Evening Sports. I'm Torino Saunders. Hip -hop. Hip -hop.